Hi you guys! Today I'm going to show you how to turn off your red receipts on an iPhone. So have your phone on hand so you can follow along as we go through. Let's jump right in. So first I'm going to show you how to turn off your red receipts in general, meaning for every single person that you message or receive messages from. Um, and to do that you're going to go into your settings, then you're going to scroll down to your messages, click on that, and here when you scroll down you're going to find the send red receipts and if yours are turned on, you're gonna to wanna to turn those off. Basically, if you don't know what red receipts are, it's just a notification that shows the person that um, has messaged you that you have read their message. So as soon as you open up a message, a red receipt is going to alert them that you've seen it, and it's simply gonna put a little red right beneath the message. For many reasons, a lot of us don't wanna have these on, I personally don't like having them on. It, it puts pressure on me to respond right away. Some people get offended if you don't respond right away. There are a whole bunch of different reasons why having red receipts isn't super convenient. So all you're gonna do is turn that off and they will no longer be able to see if you've read that message or not. Hey you guys, if you're finding this video helpful, click that like button and subscribe to our channel. This helps the channel to grow and for us to reach a larger audience. Thanks so much and let's get back to the video. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to turn off red receipts for a specific contact. Sometimes you have a specific person in your life that you don't want seeing uh, the fact that you've read their message yet. Maybe that person gets offended if you don't respond right away. Maybe it's a boss and you don't want to come into work that day. You're on call and it's your day off. Regardless of the reasons, there is a way to turn red receipts off for a specific contact and to do this, you're gonna go into your messages. If you have um, a message thread started with that contact already, you're gonna just go into that message thread. You're gonna go um, up to their icon and their name in the top. And then it's gonna bring up a whole bunch of information on this page here where you will find the send red receipts and they're on for this contact. And I'm simply going to turn that off. This is not going to show um, that I've read the messages anymore for this specific person. Obviously, you can go back in at any time and turn these back on. You're just going to follow the same steps and turn that little toggle button on on the side and it will reverse all of the changes that I just made. Once you're finished, you'll click done in the top right and there you are. Okay, as a bonus tip today, you guys, I'm going to show you how to clear your message history and have your message history clear on its own. This is a huge space saver on your phone and it saves a lot of time. I know I always forget to clear my messages. I almost never clear my messages and they take up quite a bit of room in my phone. So super simple. To do this, you're gonna open up your settings. From the top, you'll scroll down to your messages and then you scroll down again, you will find message history, keep messages. So if I click on that, it's going to show me right now, mine is selected for forever, meaning it's never going to delete my messages unless I go in and manu manually delete them myself. However, what I can do is select a th the 30-day option. If I click that, it's going to tell me exactly what that means. And it's going to say this will permanently delete all text messages and message atta attachments from your device that are older than 30 days. So every month, my iPhone's going to clear all of my iMessage history and message history. This can be inconvenient for a few reasons, however. You can lose attachments, you'll have to start message threads with people once again. But if you're somebody that needs to clear up space on your phone and maybe doesn't really mind starting new uh, message threads or resending attachments, etc., then that 30-day option is a great way to clear some space. We also have that one year option, meaning it's gonna do the exact same thing only every once a year. Alrighty, you guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you found this helpful. Maybe you can use this information or pass it on to somebody else who needs it. Thanks again and I will see you guys in the next video.